Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Grantham Caravans near Retford and they've allowed me to come and film a review of this. It's the Canal Sudwind 500 PF. This is a three berth caravan and it's from the German manufacturer Knaus. I'm going to show you obviously the features of the van, talk about it a little bit and explain about that door being on the European side and whether you should be put off by that or not. Price wise of the caravan, as you can see there, £28,600. So in the current climate, this is quite a well priced van and you are getting a lot for your money. I'm already feeling quite positive about this one. So let's take a closer look. What do we need to know about it? Well, let me spin you around as we go. So the size of this caravan, it's seven meters and 31 centimeters long. I'll just show you that down the side. I am going to make my way around, but if I show you it, so seven meters and 31 centimeters long, it's on a single axle with an alloy wheel. Width wise, as we can see at the front here, it's 2.3 meters wide or seven feet and seven inches. And it is on the Alco chassis. It does have the Alco hitch. Weight wise, fairly heavy. It's 1800 kilograms is this caravan, but it will give you a good payload of 210 kilos. So starting at the front, we've got that large front locker. I do always think these are look a little bit like Stormtroopers helmets, but I quite like that. So yeah, if you can get over the Stormtrooper look, you'll be well away. The front locker there, that's going to take two 11 kilo gas bottles. And we've got the nice black grab handles and there's a nice bit of trim. I'll just come a little bit closer so you might be able to see that. This trim here, that's a nice effect there, as you can see in the silver and gray. We've got one large window at the front that does open and the sunroof above it. There are screens and fly screens internally for you as well. Now I'm going to come down the near side. Obviously we do not have a door on this side. We do have a locker here though, first of all. We've also got the vent for the fridge freezer, which we'll see inside. It's a little bit different. It is a tower model. You can see a further vent up there. Uh, you'll see that when we go in, it's quite nice. We've got the vent there for the Truma. It is Truma Airblown Central Heating. We've then got the windows down the side. That there is a vent for the Truma when you're running on gas. We've got the toilet cassette. The flush works on the onboard system. And then we've got a locker there to give you some storage under the bed, which we'll see when we go inside. So coming around the back, I do like the back ends on the Knaus Caravans. We've got the badge above, we've got the logo of the birds, the Sudwin name, and then these really nice uh, modern piece lights as well, and black grab handles. So we'll come down the off side. So those of you that are, are really watching closely, You'll see obviously the door is here on the off side. Very common on the European manufacturers. Do not be put off by that door on that side. I've said it before, quite often when you go on site, if you tell them your door is on the off, si uh, the off side, they will let you go nose in on a pitch as well. So you don't have to worry about climbing out onto your neighbor's pitch and overlooking them. So don't be put off by that at all. Now the sides, yes, I like it because it has got silver sides. In today's light, with it being so bright, I don't know whether you'll see that at all or not, but it's silver sides. We've got the toilet cassette. We've got an awning channel. You can see here the awning rail channel around there. We've got a window. We've got a TV aerial point there. That's that black box and then we come to the door. Now, the door is, an, it's a really wide door opening. You can probably see how wide that is. So if you're looking for something for accessibility, this is another really positive feature of the Sudwind. Huge, great big door. And you can see here, it is one piece. I'll just come a little bit closer. You do get this nice Naus bag here in the door. You've got the handle here, which is absolutely solid there for grabbing hold of it the little locking mechanism there, and it does have a blind in it too. So let's venture in through this doorway. Now, as we come in, the first thing you're going to see is the kitchen. 
so we've got a kitchen right in the front of the van again you know this is not unusual for the european market they often put the kitchens in the front win in the front and quite often they won't even have a window as well on the lower specification models so kitchen in the front let's have a closer look at that first of all so we come in now as we're coming through that door we've got some storage straight away we've got this nice light colored wood as well i do like that so let's see what we've got here so got a good amount of um shelving space there i'm not sure how well you'll see that in the light but nice deep um, shelves i'll just close those up and then we move through into the main kitchen so we've got this good size window and above we've got a good size sunroof as well letting lots of light in they do have blinds so we don't have to worry about it becoming too hot now the kitchen space itself got a lot of worktop space here i'll start here first of all so we've got this nice worktop effect and then we've got three gas burners these are dometic Europeans tend not to use electric, so we've got three gas. I've always found those very good on the Adrias. We come across and we've got good size and really deep kitchen sink. Um, that's very good size and we've got a nice tap there. And then back here, we've got absolutely loads of worktop space there, which is, it is easy to access. I can access that no problem. There's two plug sockets, so good spot as well for your coffee makers. Uh, and kettles and toasters and things so a nice kitchen space there and then we'll work our way down so first of all here we've got a large drawer with a really nice cutlery tray in there nice fitted cutlery tray if you push that it is soft clothes i like soft clothes so for twenty eight thousand six hundred pounds that is nice we've got the microwave oven there that's an lg appliance and then coming across we've got this storage under the sink again shelving they go all the way back right up into that front locker so that's really good good amount of storage there there's no um there's no gas grill as you may have noticed so that is your compromise i'm afraid on this one but this is the tower fridge freezer that i told you about so this is the thetford model um the, the reason it's different is because they've covered it in this wood finish to work with the rest of the caravan. I'll just show, obviously, you can see how that works. I like it. I like that effect. Um, this is a standard tower fridge freezer. I think this is around 140 litres. It probably tell me exactly inside, but 137. I wasn't far wrong. Gross volume, 142. So there we go. This fridge freezer is a really good one i had this one in my caravan and got on with it really well you can get loads in here i'll show you as well the large freezer compartment so yeah that's a winner for me so that that's the kitchen that's a good usable kitchen so yeah no no real issue with that apart from that uh, gas grill gas oven you're not going to get that let's make our way now around here so this is the off side of the caravan, the right hand side. Um, so let's take a look. So here we go. Now we're going to find some control panels. I'm going to find this really nice storage area. So we've got um, a rail here and I'm presuming that may well be a vent for the air blown heating. So that's possibly a good place to dry coats. We've got light switches. We've got the control for the, I don't know if we can see that, for the Truma. There we go. There's the Truma control and the control for your electric and your water. So that's nicely accessible as we come in. We've got a television bracket as well here on this side wall with a plug socket and the aerial connection ready. And then we've got some cupboard space. I'll show, I'll show you that first of all. We'll work our way around in that uh, way. So this is the first little cupboard. Again, some nice shelving shelving on the other side and then as we come up you can see the shelving that runs up the side of the television unit as well so lots of little shelves all the way up to the ceiling so that's that's nice now you may wonder where the lounge is well here it is um it's not it's almost like um a, di a little dinette area it's not a separate lounge as such however 
if there are just a couple of you then this is not a bad area at all there's room to relax it's got nice backrests and you will still be able to to get your feet up to some degree there i'll just show you around there you do have this table the table does come away you can use this as a third berth so this will actually convert as your third berth by um, by removing that table i'm not sure if whether you actually lower the table to that next point down there don't know if you can see there and drop the table leg and that will then give you your third berth that's what i believe happens there but a nice little lounge area and certainly a nice uh, dining area and you get this huge window that's fantastic for looking out of and again you've got your blinds and these these nets here so above that area we've then got some overhead lockers I'll just open this one um, but it gives you an idea so really good depth really good height nice storage lockers and under here we're finding these little spotlights that move about USB charger there in the lights we've got so that on all of them that are situated in the van got a speaker and a plug socket as well and then some little shelves so that is our lounge area so I'll just look back so we're looking back into the caravan now and that gives you an idea of that space now I'll move on to this side so back to the off side and this is a really good amount of wardrobe space I'll just open that up there so starting at the top we get a rail we get lo absolutely loads of room uh, the shelf there and then close that up and then there is something down below I don't know if we get more storage or whether it's just going to be part of the water system oh wow yeah so we've we've got we've got more storage there now the van this this van as far as i know does have an onboard water tank as well which will be 45 liters um so in terms of water we've got that too what we'll do now is we'll venture back into the bedroom area um you can already see it is a fixed bed so this bed some people call them fixed beds some people call them french beds some people just call them a double bed you can call it what you want to be fair you're sleeping on it so it's i'm not bothered what you're calling it but if people if you hear those terms that's that's what people may well be referring to um so let's have a look at that now in terms of privacy first of all there is a privacy screen it's just here and it affixes just down there so if you want privacy you can draw that screen really good size bed i think it's about two meters and six centimeters in total length uh it's uh i think it's 138 centimeters in width but it is it's a double bed but you do lose some here where you've got this uh cut off just here to be fair it's not as bad as some of the beds that i have seen on other vans so that is still a very good sized bed for tall people above we've got overhead lockers we've got five all together three large and two smaller ones underneath you can see there we've got another one of those lights that's got a usb so the bedroom space with that again a big window we've got a hecky above um yeah i like it i like i do like that to be honest behind me that's that way um we're going to find a sink we're going to find a sink here uh so in the 500 pf hi guys uh what we're we getting so to find a sink in the to find a sink in the bedroom is a little bit strange for some people um some caravans do have that and this is a good use of space to be fair um it's utilizing this area so let's have a look so we've got as i say a nice sink we've got the tap here we've got some storage underneath it's a good amount of storage again the european caravans always deliver on storage so that's that one we've got a little see how we work that there we go we've got um a mirrored cupboard as well with again more shelving i think that other side will open up as well we'll soon find out yeah that'll open as well and again some shelving there and we've got hooks for little hand towels we've got a plug socket for drying your hair light switches so that's that I do apologize it's a warm day today and i'm getting quite warm now in here 
but yeah so we've got that little area there and then we've got the shower room and toilet behind me so let's have a look at that this this is the compromise i think for many people is if we open the magical door is it's a smaller space although to be fair i'm going to venture in it's not that bad although because you've got the sink here it's giving us more here so we've got a good amount of floor space the shower as you can see comes up there and it's attached there in the ceiling that's for hanging your towels on that's ventilation and this is the shower curtain rail and then there are towel holders so i am going to go further in but i just want to give you a look just so you can see see it obviously so there's the shower curtain we've got a thetford bench seat toilet with the obvious toilet cassette and flush that operates uh, off the um, water system i'm going to step in so i'm inside now um headroom is really good there's a light up here as well so it's not going to be dark in here there is a, um, a blower for the heating so it's not going to be cold in, in winter so this and it, we've got a frosted window so yeah if you are a big person you may find showering here is going to be your compromise the toilet's not a compromise the bench seat's fine um and it's not even one of those where as a smaller person your legs dangle it's not that at all so that's fine right i'll dive out you don't need to see me stood in the toilet um yeah there we go so that was the only compromise so that is the Knaus Sudwind 500 PF, £28,600. What do I think to it? I like this. I do like, but I do like European caravans, as you know. It's not for everyone, but if you're looking for something, at, you know, at a good price point that's offering good build quality, which is important, then these are certainly worth looking at. I like the layout. The lounge is a little bit of a compromise because you haven't got that that big seating space the bathroom's a little bit small and you've not got that um, gas oven and grill but otherwise for the money this is really nice really nice fan so yeah it's a positive for me definitely um i just like to say thank you to grantham caravans for letting me come to retford and film today that is appreciated i'll put a link to them in the description below um, also, I will put a link to Caravan Guard Insurance if you want to get an insurance quote on this or any other van. We've used um, Caravan Guard for our caravan and motorhomes, so I'll put a link to them. Again, let me know what you think. Is that door on the right-hand side a problem? Do you have a European van and, and you find it fine? Give some feedback because it, what might be putting people off buying something like this is that door. It would not put me off at all. Um, but please give me your feedback because, you know, we're here to help each other. Right, it's red hot. I'm done. So, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.